Argentinian footballer Lionel Messi, aka Leo Messi, has been playing for almost two decades. At 35, he is still fit, energetic, and of course, unbeatable. This video contains 15 facts about him you might want to know. Hey everybody, welcome to the Think Lab. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of our videos. Let's get started. Number 1. Born in Rosario. Santa Fe, Argentina on the 24th of June 1987 to parents Jorge Messi, a steel factory manager and a local football coach, and Celia Cucitini, Leo Messi was the third of four children. Number 2. Leo's passion for football developed at an early age as his family members were diehard football fans. He and his older brothers used to play football all the time, and his cousins Maximiliano and Emmanuel Biancucci would join them too. Messi's cousins became professional footballers later on. Number 3. Messi joined a local football club when he was four. Though his father coached him, his maternal grandmother was his earliest admirer. She accompanied young Leo to training and matches, and always encouraged him. When she passed away shortly before Leo's 11th birthday, Messi was devastated. Since then, Messi has celebrated every goal he scores by looking up and pointing to the sky as a tribute to his loving grandmother. Number 4. At the age of 6, Lionel Messi joined the Rosario Club, Newell's. He was a member of the Machine of 87, the strong and seemingly undefeatable youth side named after their birth year. Messi also used to entertain the crowd by performing ball tricks during halftime of the games. Number 5. At age 10, Messi was diagnosed with a growth hormone deficiency. His father's health insurance only covered two years of treatment, which cost around $1,000 per month. Newell's agreed to help them with the expenses, but failed to fulfill their promise. So the family, who had relatives in Catalonia, decided to move to Spain and arrange a trial with Barcelona in September 2000. Barcelona was so impressed with Messi's foot skills that they offered to take care of his medical expenses and asked his family to move to Spain. The team director wanted to sign Messi immediately, but the board of directors hesitated. You see, back then it was very unusual for European clubs to sign young foreign players. Finally, on December 14, 2000, the team director who couldn't find a piece of paper, wrote the contract on a napkin and asked Messi to sign it. Que yo, como director técnico de Fútbol Club Barcelona, me comprometí a firmar a Leo Messi y, boom, y lo firmamos. With the napkin contract signed, Messi officially joined Barcelona. His family permanently relocated to Barcelona and moved into an apartment near the club's stadium in February 2001. Number 6. Messi's first year in Spain was tough, and he was so quiet that his teammates initially thought he was mute. His homesickness got worse when his mother moved back to Rosario with his brothers and little sister, while he had to remain in Barcelona with his father. What made things worse was, because Messi was a foreigner, he couldn't play in the official youth team matches. Number 7. At age 14, after his growth hormone treatment finished, Messi joined the famous Baby Dream Team and became an integral part of it. Baby Dream Team was Barcelona's greatest ever youth side. Messi didn't let his teammates down and scored 36 goals in 30 games during his first season 2002-3 and became the top scorer. Number 8. When Messi was 16, he made his first team debut in the 75th minute during a match against Porto. He impressed everyone by creating two chances and a shot on goal and began his daily training with the club's reserve side, Barcelona B. He also began training weekly with the first team and it was after his first training session with Ronaldinho, Barcelona's star player, that the latter told his teammates that the 16-year-old Messi would become an even better player than he himself. I remember watching Messi training. Everybody was talking about him, the new kid, back then. He showed that he was going to have a great future. Messi and Ronaldinho became friends soon after. 
Number 9. In 2006, Messi, who had already been frequently compared to Diego Maradona, replicated his two most famous goals in the span of seven weeks. Messi scored a goal that was very similar to Maradona's second goal, aka the goal of the century, in the quarterfinals of the 1986 FIFA World Cup. The left-footed Argentine magician ran 60 meters 66 yards with the ball and beat five defenders before scoring with an angled finish, just like Maradona had done 20 years earlier. Number 10. After two unsuccessful seasons, when Ronald and Ho left Barcelona, Messi was given the number 10 shirt. He also signed a new contract with the team, which made him the club's highest paid player, as his annual salary was around $8 million. Number 11. Messi's frequent injuries left him sidelined for eight months in total between 2006 and 2008. But he came back stronger than ever and won his first Ballon d'Or and FIFA World Player of the Year awards in 2009 at just 21 years of age. He won FIFA Ballon d'Or again in 2010, 2011, 2012, 2015, and 2019, and truly earned his place as one of the greatest footballers of all time. Number 12. Messi holds a Guinness World Record for the 91 goals he scored in 2012. Yes, in just one calendar year Lionel Messi scored 91 goals minus 79 goals for Barcelona and 12 for Argentina. Wow, just wow. Number 13. According to Forbes, Messi's net worth is more than $620 million. This makes him the wealthiest footballer in the whole world. But if you think money is what motivates him, we hate to break it to you. You're wrong. According to Messi himself, my motivation comes from playing the game I love. If I wasn't paid to be a professional footballer, I would willingly play for nothing. Number 14. 2020 21 was Messi's final season in Barcelona, as he decided to leave the club despite the love he had for it. Part of the reason why Messi came to make such a decision was due to the 2019 pandemic that took the world by storm and wreaked havoc on the economy. Barcelona was in debt and could no longer afford to keep Messi and give him a new contract. Messi himself wanted to stay but the La Liga rules made it impossible for him to do so. In August Messi officially joined French club Paris Saint-Germain with a two-year contract until June 2023. Number 15. Messi had announced earlier that the 2022 World Cup would be his last World Cup appearance. Argentina had won their second and last title in 1986 with Diego Maradona, and Messi really wanted his goodbye to be a glorious one for both himself and his motherland. Thanks to his determination, skills, and team play, Messi added to his home country Argentina glory by leading the team to its third World Cup title in 2022. During Argentina's breathtaking fight against France, Messi scored twice. Argentina finally beat France during penalty shootouts. Messi had done it again, as the captain of the team. He managed to claim the one trophy that was missing from his collection. Thanks to Lionel Messi, Argentina became the first South American and the first non-European team to win the FIFA World Cup since Brazil in 2002. Let's conclude this video with a quote from the GOAT. I always thought I wanted to play professionally, and I always knew that to do that I'd have to make a lot of sacrifices. I made sacrifices by leaving Argentina leaving my family to start a new life. I changed my friends, my people, everything. But everything I did, I did for football, to achieve my dream. And achieve his dream he really did. Love him or hate him, one cannot deny that Leo Messi truly is the greatest of all time. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And let us know down in the comments if there's any subject you want us to cover in the future. See you in the next video.